Welcome to Electra Online. By now, you probably have learned about the vertical line test. In order to tell the difference between a function and a relation, we could take a long straight edge and we could run it along the graph of a particular function or relation for that matter. But if it's a function, you can see that if you hold a vertical line, the vertical line will only cross the function once or the graph of the function once, no matter how we move it across the graph of the function. That means it's a function. So we can do that for both of these functions. Here you can see that it only crosses the line once. Here you can see that it only crosses the line once at any given point. That's called the vertical line test, and it's to see if it's a function or a relation. If it only crosses once, it's a function. But now we have what we call the horizontal line test. So now we have to use our straight edge and hold it horizontally. You're blocking. Horizontally. <laughs> and so it says when a function is one to one, a horizontal line will only cut through its graph once. And in the previous video, we saw that over here we had a function that is one to one, and here the function that is not. Notice the same equation y equals x squared y equals x squared, but here we have to limit that x has to be greater than or equal to zero. There, x can be any value. Now, if I do a horizontal line test here, notice it cuts through the graph of the function twice. Twice means it's not a one-to-one. -one. There's not a one-to-one -one correspondence between the x and the y values. For any given y value, there's two specific values for x because the horizontal line test crosses through the graph twice. So that's mean for every one value of y, there are two values of x. But if I do the same test over here, notice no matter where I take my straight edge, everywhere there's only one value for y for one value for x. It only crosses the graph once. And that's because we're looking at the right half of the parabola. We're limiting ourselves to this. And that's why this is a one-to-one -one function and this is not a one-to-one -one function. All we have to do is do a simple horizontal line test. Remember we talked about our last video at the end? You can say that every one-to-one -one function, every one-to-one -one is a function, but not every function is a one-to-one. Correct. So what we tried to say in the last video was that every one-to-one -one function is a function, but not every function is a one-to-one -one function. So in essence, if you want to take a look at that, and this is not a bad way to look at it, so let's say that this represents all the, what we would call it, the relations. A subset of all the relations is all the functions. And a subset of all the functions is the one-to-one -one functions. So therefore you could say that all one-to-one -one functions are indeed functions. And all functions are relations, but not all functions are one-to-one -one functions. So it's a great way to look at it. Every function is a relation, but not every relation is a function. Every function, every one-to-one -one function is a function, but not every function is a one-to-one -one function. 